Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Okay, so if you has asked, will, well, let me read it because I wrote it down, uh, what they said, but not word for word, but will organizers um, be held responsible regarding that, um, the insurrection? Um, so yeah, will organizers be held responsible? And um, and so I'm thinking of um, MTG, Bobert, uh, Hawley, Cruz, and uh, Graham. So let's see what that happens there. Will uh, organizers be held uh, responsible? Let's see what happens. So this is the Crow Tarot by M.J. Cullinan. I suppose that's how that's pronounced. And uh, they come in a really nice, sturdy box. Um, if you got this as a gift, you feel like, you know, that was a nice gift. The uh, guidebook is pretty interesting. Uh, it has uh, good uh, suggestions on how to use these cards for divination. And then right in the back here, it talks about the artist and the author of Crow Tarot. And it just says that Margot Jones, so that is MJ in the MJ Cullinan, is a Seattle-based artist, writer, mother, and lover of all things magical, especially crow. She attended Parsons School of Design, yet her unique te uh, technique of telling stories through digital collage is self-taught and has been her passion for over 10 years. And I don't know that's as of when. Um, nature and its creatures are a familiar theme in MJ's work. However, having grown up in the south of Boston, her collages are heavily influenced by the energy of the city. Her work often merges the two worlds. Her path into the world of tarot was a beautiful accident that came out of a difficult time in her life. The process of creating Crow Tarot helped her rediscover her own wings, though at the time she didn't realize how life-changing the project would become. She simply fell in love with the process, the messages, and the feeling uh, each card revoked. The Crow Tarot, MJ's first published deck, has achieved a significant following and recognition with Crow lovers and the tarot community. When MJ is not making art or writing for her Crow Tarot blog, Hmm. She's spending time with her daughter River, playing in nature, practicing magic, and finding new sources of inspiration. So I love that, to know a little bit about the artist. And uh, like I say, the descriptions here are useful in the divination, especially when so much thought has gone into the cards. The cards themselves are just really amazing. I love using these cards a lot. They've got a sort of a, an antique uh, kind of patina to the cards. I mean, it's not really a patina because it's fake. But you can see how each card has a little wornness about it that kind of makes them uh, fun to use. And they're beautiful cards. And, you know, what, the reason I do this is for those folks who don't get to see uh, full decks of tarot cards very often. At least this way you get a little preview of some of these cards. And uh, it's a nice way to uh, shuffle up the cards without damaging them. I like to keep my cards in good shape as long as I can. And um, so that is the Crow Tarot. And I can't say I'm not curious. Yeah, I am pretty curious uh, if uh, organizers will re -help, be held responsible. Yeah, I think of um, all those folks I mentioned. I think of uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. I think of Lauren Boebert. You know, did they give, give folks uh, tours? Jeff Hawley, uh, Ted Cruz. I mean, what could he have had to do with some of that on, on some kind of a fundraising level or, or, or known about folks and didn't take them seriously? Or Lindsey Graham. I mean, he seems to be just all awash in all of this. So those and others, you know, not just these folks, but others, you know, will these organizers, they are, will these organizers be held uh, responsible? So let's um, get this shuffled up here and uh, see if we can get some good, I love these crow cards. You know, crows are tricky and they're persistent and they do not give up. I mean, you really, have, you can scare a crow away. It'll circle around and come try again, you know? So I think these cards are really perfect for this. So let's get six, one, two, three. Will they be held responsible? Will organizers specifically be held responsible? For, you know, who let the people in? Who told the folks? There were policemen who killed themselves. Did they know too much? The signified card for who, um, or will they be held responsible? Or will the organizers be held responsible? Ah. So we have a balancing act here. Where's my uh, pointer? So yeah, so this crow is just trying to keep everything up in the air. And if you had some guilt on you, uh, that's exactly how you'd be uh, behaving. So that's the signifier, the uh, the organizer. So that, that assumes there are organizers, by the way. The challenge to that is uh, the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, how is the King of Pentacles the challenge uh, to that? 
So let me see. Let me get a, a typical definition here right off my card because um, uh, financial stable what kind of yeah, everything you think. Of course, he's the master of his value. He's the guy who's really in charge. And this crow, let's just look at him a little closer here. This crow seems to have even um, so much that he's got leftover fruit down here. He's got money dripping off the crown, and uh, he's showing as big as he can that I am here to claim what's what's available. <coughs> so trying to get everything balanced is challenged by someone. Uh, oh, yeah, so that has to be Trump. So the, the base of this reading, then, is the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Wands is always, you know, one guy has got a pretty effective tool to stave off all these other actions plans uh, that are coming up against him. Uh, but then the fellow is embattled. Uh, so um, the whole base of this uh, for these organizers is that they are embattled. And then the past of this for these organizers is the Six of um, Swords, which is moving out of troubled water. We can see this crow really swiftly flying through rain and getting through this passionate water. All these uh, swords here guarding, guarding him. So... Um, moving out of troubled water in the past. So maybe they felt like they had escaped uh, notice. Nothing's been said so far. In the sky for this is a chariot, but that's not true because things are coming. Things are coming. Change is coming. The likely outcome for this, and I pulled too many cards, the likely outcome for this is the uh, Ten of Cups is happy family. So um, happy family. That's celebrations, and uh, that's uh, wealth. That's a lot of trophies. I think this is the government. Yeah, it has to be. And since I pulled this extra card, uh, I'll just put it here. We'll use it to start, but I'll go ahead and get uh, the other three that I'm going to need to finish this. Well, as a matter of fact, we'll let it uh, stack up just like it's going to. Two. Okay, so that's four cards for the finish. Okay, so that card that was there is down on the bottom. And uh, we'll see what is the self of this question right now for these organizers uh, going to pay. It looks like they are going to pay, but what's the self for them? Right now, this is the Page of Pentacles. They have very little worth. Very little worth. Now, does that mean they have uh, very little to um, uh, to re re retain, to bring, capture back their uh, glory, or uh, they may not be worth uh, the um, the power, the firepower it takes to bring them in? Could be from the uh, Department of Justice point of view. Uh, they're in the environment of what? What are they in the environment of? Ah, nightmares. Okay, is this in class? Yeah, this is the Nine of Swords, and this is just really perilous nightmares. So it. I wonder if it's just too much to go through to nail the organizers. I, I just can't see that, but I, I want it. That's what comes to mind. The hopes and the fears for that then is the uh, six of cups, which is wanting to, yeah, it is wanting to get things back the way they were right next to happy family, you know, and then the likely outcome for the whole thing, these organizers will they be held uh, responsible is uh, the government. Yes. No, no, this is the five of swords. So the five of swords is abuse of power. So the outcome of this is an abuse of power. That's that. So that's certainly not what I wanted, but that's what we got. And if I got junk all over my shirt, I do. My gosh, I'm a slob. So we'll start here. Uh, we said, will the organizers uh, face justice? And we started out with, you know, really balancing uh, you know, the coin there, balancing that value. And the challenge, and the uh, the challenge to the whole thing was the uh, King of Pentacles, which uh, has to be trumpulated. Uh, the basis of that was the Seven of Wands, which is really fending off all, you know, having to fend off a lot of actions. And uh, the um, past of that then was the Six of Swords, having moved out of troubled water. Thought they were safe. You know, they thought uh, everything was fine. But then in the sky of that, we have the uh, Chariot, which is uh, things actually now starting to move. And uh, with the King of Pentacles, not the King of Pentacles, I'm sorry, but with the Ten of Cups, as um, you know, a lot of trophies being run, and you ain't one, and you have to think this is the government, don't you? So, and then but they said, What's the self of the whole thing? And it brings us a page of pentacles. They don't have much worth, and this could either mean they don't have much worth prosecutorially, which I can't believe, or they don't have much value, they are not worth much, uh, they're a low vibration. And then the um, I hate to say that, and then the um, uh, the environment that it's in, then is as a matter of fact, the Nine of Swords, which is just nightmares. And uh, the hopes and the fears uh, comes to us with these uh, Six of Cups, wanting things back, you know, the way they were, normal, before we had insane, insanity politics. And then the um, uh, abuse of power of the Five of Swords is how the whole thing en ends up. So I was hoping it was the Hierophant when I saw that Five at the top of the card. But no, it's the uh, Five of Swords, and that is that is abuse of power and, and not good. But that's what I see. What did you see? Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. Oh, <laughs>